Hello all our grade 10 learners and welcome to this business studies lesson where we will be taking a closer look at some practical and application questions for especially general management, financial management and of course administration business functions. So let's get started. Our first practice question here says that we must differentiate between management and leadership. Now, if we look at the word differentiate between, between differentiate is, is almost the same as difference. So they want us to discuss the difference between management and leadership. So what we're basically going to do is I've got a little table here. You don't need a table for this type of question, but I'm just going to discuss what leadership is and what management is. So we can start by stating that leadership inspires the employees of the business and management manages the business or, let me just fix that, manages the business or the tasks of the business. You can further elaborate by stating that leadership creates a team or inspires the subordinates of the business. Management makes sure that the tasks are completed. Leadership influences human behavior and management guides human behavior. Remember we said manage management only actually gives instructions where leadership builds a, a relationship and inspires the employees. And lastly, we state leadership, usually leaders are born with the skills and of course management is appointed in a specific position. So there we have discussed leadership and management and we have shown the difference between the two. Our second question states, describe the responsibility of the general management function. So the word describe says that we must discuss in full sentences. So firstly, we will state that general management provides direction to the business. So they provide direction by giving the vision and the goals of the business. We can also state that they lead, organize and control the other functions of the business and we can even state that there are three different levels of management. So that is then our description of general management. Our third question asks, name the three levels of management. But then the question continues. It says, as well as the type of decision. So there's two parts of this question made by each level. So of course, our first level of management is top management. And top management develop the vision and goals of the business. So we will say that they make strategic decisions, usually at the long term. The second level of management is then middle management and they will break down top management decisions and make it more um, applicable to their specific department. So what we say they do is they make tactical decisions. And then lastly, we have lower level management. And if we can remember, lower level management is usually our supervisors of our employees. So they will take the tactical decisions and break it down into day-to-day -day tasks. So they will help the employees operate. So we will say that they will make operational decisions. And there we have it. We have our three level of management, levels of management rather, as well as the types of decisions they make. Now the last question, or not the last, the next question rather, ask name for management tasks. Now when they ask name, 
You only have to shortly answer the question. And when they ask for four, you don't have to give more than four. So now I've got planning, organizing, leadership and control. But maybe you couldn't remember organizing, then you may answer maybe risk management. But when stating how many to answer, you can only answer the number given. Question number five asks, discuss the responsibility of the administration function. Remember, administration deals with the collection, processing and storing of data and information. And that is the first bullet in our answer. So while discussing, we must discuss in a full sentence. We can also say that they, this information is then used by management to make decisions. And then administration function will store and record all this information by using technology. This means also that they will perform general office work. And that is the responsibilities of the administration function. And that is it for our practice question. Before we continue to the application questions, let's take a short break.